Double end bag is a great piece of equipment to develop your boxing. Not only your, your punching and striking skill, but also your head movement and your footwork, and then overall conditioning. And some specific things that really works on is your hand speed, your hand timing, your punching timing, and your punching accuracy. And also learning how to and understanding how to punch and miss a target and still maintaining that good base and leverage and not overthrowing. This is a nine inch ball, recommended for certainly beginners, but really all levels. But beginners should start out with a nine inch ball. And if you're only gonna purchase one of the uh, size bags or balls, you should probably start with a nine inch uh, bag and then gradually work down to what is, they also have a seven inch ball, which is good for intermediate to advanced to fighters. Uh, and then you can go all the way down to a five inch ball. Uh, which is good uh, progression into your advanced boxing and to your fighters. And even for beginners, there can be certain drills you can practice with. Uh, to, again, developing that uh, eye-hand coordination, uh, which helps develop that hand speed, the timing, and the accuracy uh, on this ball or, or the bag. This is about as good as a piece of equipment for boxing for sport-specific results. Uh, whether you're in the cage or the ring, certainly that opponent, that target you're aiming at, that head's going to typically be moving. So your accuracy has to be pretty good, your timing has to be good, and your hand speed has to be good to be successful in the ring or cage. So this is a tool that can really develop that, or a piece of equipment can develop that. Uh, so as the ball is moving, as you're hitting it and it's moving, uh, it helps develop that accuracy and timing. Uh, and also as it's moving and you're going to miss the ball or the bag, maybe frequently, certainly at first, uh, it starts to prepare you and, and teach you how to maintain that base and leverage. So you're not overthrowing, you're not hyperextending that elbow, you're throw, throwing your shoulder or throwing out your back. Uh, and that all goes with the resistance on the cables on both sides of the double end bag, or the, the bag of ball. The more resistance you have, the more stability you have in these cables, the less the ball is gonna move. So recommended when you first start using this, uh, this bag or piece of equipment, keep these uh, cables pretty uh, stern or stable and, and, and resistant so that the ball is not going to move too much. So you can start to develop the skill, uh, learn how to work with the, the tool and, or the piece of equipment, and then you can develop as you go, and then you put less resistance in the cable, and then the ball or the bag is going to be moving much more all over the place. So it's really going to challenge you uh, to develop that hand speed, that timing, the hand-eye coordination and the accuracy uh, to pick this ball. Uh, good for head movement as the ball is moving, coming forward, uh, retracting back at you. You work your slipping motions, your weave motions, uh, your pullback, your duck, uh, all your head evasions that will you know, be incorporated, of course, in your, in your boxing in the ring of the cage. Uh, and also your footwork. Move around the ball as though it's a, it's a human being. You visualize it's actually a fight. Uh, this is a person's head. And you're moving around, so you're developing your footwork. So again, developing your hands, your punching, your head movement for defense, and your footwork, uh, which is certainly vital in, in any combat striking sport. Uh, good conditioning. If you do the drills and the workouts properly, it's really good conditioning. Uh, so there's a lot of things you can get out of this tool. My, recommend, or my thought is this is one of the best tools uh, you can utilize uh, to develop your boxing skills and your conditioning. Uh, again, that speed, the timing, the hand-eye coordination, uh, and the accuracy. Uh, when you're hitting the ball, again with the nine-inch ball, uh, as you're hitting the ball, uh, it's important to understand range. So this, is, this piece of equipment is going to help you understand range too. When you hit, you want to think that similar to a heavy bag, you're going to want to drive through the ball two to four inches. So meaning you don't want to be driving all the way through, so if you miss, you're really overextending, and then you don't want a short arm to very rarely uh, tap in the ball. Uh, so understand range, and again, you want to drive through this sink anywhere from two to three inches. Uh, and remember, when you miss the ball, uh, it's going to happen. Missing it once, it's very common. Missing it twice can be common as well, but you want to try to nail that third one. If you miss it once, try to get that second one and not miss a second time. But if you miss two times in a row, try to nail that third one. If you miss three times in a row, then keep practicing. Because okay? you don't want to keep missing so much uh, and leave yourself vulnerable. Uh, so really work on that, that timing and that accuracy 
of the ball. And then work in your footwork. Move around the, the bag as you're playing around with the punches. The ball moving back and forth, back and back and forth. As it comes back, you're moving your head and moving the footwork. Putting them into combination. Maybe jabs, uppercuts, hooks. You work over hands. And again, if you miss twice, try to hit that third time. Miss three times, you want to keep practicing. Hey, okay, miss once, try to hit the second one. Okay? And moving around. Okay? And as you see, the ball is moving. And again, as you get less resistance in the cable, it's going to be really moving. Uh, and that's where it really is going to challenge that accuracy and timing. Uh, but that's your progression. If you can hit this target more times than you miss it, and raise that percentage to 80% of the time you're hitting that, this double end bag, then you're really uh, progressing with your, your boxing skills and tools. Uh, so double end bag, again, good for hand speed, timing, accuracy, hand-eye coordination, uh, developing your punching skills, your head movement, some footwork, and good overall conditioning.